Hey, Hunter. When you've got a minute, could you meet me in the war room? Oh, you are gonna love this. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? No problem. What do you think? I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. We are finally getting some decent tech down here. Let's get started, Dr. Spooky. Later. Ready to work? Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter.
back again. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. Let's see if you're as good as they say. You are a capable... I needed that. Are you always that stabby? I've got a kid I send on mission sometimes. I feel like we left things unfinished, Hunter. If you're free, I'd like to talk. Well, don't leave me in suspense. How are you enjoying the library? I thought we were past that. We are, but I'm still allowed to be annoyed with you. I expect a bit of pushback from the others, but not from you, Hunter. Why not? When have I ever made things easy for you? You had your moments, few and far between, but that's exactly my point. You know what that place what she meant to me, and you did it anyway. If I had known it meant this much to you, I would have waited. It was not my intention to defy or hurt you. Hurt, no. Defy, maybe. At the same time, I know I haven't been very open with you about everything that's happened. At least we are talking now. Silence between us would only make things worse. You're right about that. We have bigger things to worry about. Like the mouthy alien tormenting Spider-Man as we speak. He did risk himself for us without hesitation. We owe him for that, at least. For once, I think the entire team is in agreement. It's only a matter of tracking Venom down. I would just follow the trail of destruction. But maybe there is another way. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Don't leave poor Spider-Man waiting too long now. There you are, Hunter. Got time to look at something? The intel cache we recovered from Hydra's gunship might seem sophisticated to the casual bystander, but they probably weren't expecting to go up against the likes of me. With Central's help, I can decrypt these babies in no time, providing us a valuable and fascinating glimpse into Hydra's twisted little minds. Central is ready to work. Tony might take all the credit for this thing, but just imagine where we'd be right now without Ada Lovelace. Central will crack the code. Fascinating info here. And by fascinating, I mean I want to blast these creeps to the moon. Now that we've decrypted the intel, let's put what we've learned to good use. 
Check out the available hero ops listed on Central. Ready for some hero work? Thanks, Hunter. We've got a situation rapidly developing. I'll be in contact soon, Hunter. What are you doing, Faustus? Hunter, my second favorite zombie superhero. Who is your first? Tony, on two hours of sleep. So, what do you need? I have questions for you. Sure, ask away. Tell me about yourself, Carol. What in particular? Who were you before you became Captain Marvel? Air Force pilot. I used to fly the unfriendly skies before I was attached to the space program. And back then, I was entirely human. You are not entirely human? Not since I uncovered actual, for real aliens. There was an accident with some alien tech that rewrote my DNA, and now I'm half Kree. I have never heard of the Kree. Neither had I. They have a space empire. It's crazy to think they've been around far longer than you've been alive. How did Carol Danvers become Captain Marvel? During my time with the space program, I found myself involved in a conflict between alien species, Kree and Skrulls. I got too close to a device called the Psyche Magnetron, and it completely altered me. A Kree soldier known as Marvell felt responsible for what happened and took me under his wing. He was a hero in his own right, and we fought beside each other for years. He's gone now, but I took the name Captain Marvel as a tribute to what he stood for. Since then, I've made the name my own. Your strength is hard for me to fathom. With all this gamma weirdness keeping Banner in Banner form, I'm Earth's mightiest Avenger. <laughs> Once Thor realized the Hulk was in a class of his own, he was not happy to be in third place. He still challenges me to arm wrestling contests, and loses. He's much less salty since I started calling him Asgard's Mightiest Avenger. How powerful would you say you are? Hmm... When someone says we need to call in the big guns, they're talking about me. Just don't say it in front of Bruce. The Hulk is an order of magnitude stronger, no question. But he doesn't have my precision, patience, or reliability. At least, that's how Bruce put it. That much power. And it does not seem to have gone to your head. I do get cocky sometimes, but I don't take any of this for granted. And I always remember where I came from. Arrogance is like punching the afterburner with your wheels down. Tell me about the Avengers. Sure, what about us? How long have you been an Avenger? Over a decade. It's still hard to believe. We've been so busy dealing with one crisis or another, it's hard to mark the time. My coffee tally puts me just shy of 20,000, excluding the cups I forgot to track. What are your thoughts on your fellow Avengers? I'm with the team for a reason. I believe in what we do. All of us do. I'm sure you've noticed Tony can be abrasive, but I never doubt his commitment. <laughs> he and Banner used to fight like cats in a sack. Thankfully, they seem to be past that. And I can't think of anyone better to deal with a mystical enemy than Doctor Strange. He's a little out of sorts right now, what with being pushed out of his home, but he'll adjust. Do you think your team can find common ground with the Midnight Suns? Look, I try not to get involved in team politics. I'll work with anyone who gets the job done. I don't care what team they're from. Do all the Avengers feel the same? 
No comment. Thank you, Carol. Anytime. And hey, if you find the time, we should hang out. I will consider that. Of course. Pain, no gain. I still say we should have built a firing range first. <laughs> 